Hi everyone, this is two months reading in the Gospel of Mark. Today is month two and day 25. And we're going to read about um, Jesus' uh, court case. Uh, he is totally innocent, but is brought before some pretty nasty guys. Are you ready? This is coming up to the, um, this is the night before the crucifixion, late at night. Okay, we're going to read here from Mark chapter 14, verse 53. They took Jesus to the high priest and all the chief priests, elders and teachers of the law came together. Peter followed at a distance right into the courtyard of the high priest. And there he sat with the guards warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for evidence against Jesus so they could put him to death. But they did not find any. Many testified falsely against him, but their statements did not agree. Then some stood up and gave this false statement against him. We heard him say, I will destroy this man-made temple in three days and build another not made by man. Yet even their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent and gave no answer. Again, the high priest asked him, are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? I am, Jesus said and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of their Mighty One and coming on the uh, clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his clothes. Do we need any more witnesses, he asked? You have heard this blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him worthy of death. And some began to spit at him. They blindfolded him, struck him with their fists and said, prophesy. And the guards took him and beat him. And while Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came past and she saw Peter warming himself. Uh, She looked closely at him. You were also with the Nazarene Jesus, she said, but he denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about, he said, and went out into the entryway. And when the servant girl, girl saw him there, she said again to those standing around, this fellow is one of them. Again, he denied it. And after a little while, those standing near said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. And he called down curses on himself, and he swore to them, I don't know this man you're talking about. Immediately, the rooster crowed the second time. And Peter remembered the words Jesus had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. Now, this is a tough part of scripture. Jesus before the cross, and and Peter's going to deny him. His closest friend and his leader of the 12 disciples, Peter, is going to deny him three times. Wow, but Jesus warned him, Jesus loves him, and Jesus is still with him. So my thought today is that even in an unfair trial, Jesus was the leader of time and circumstance. It doesn't look like it, but Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen. My thought is that God is in control. Jesus is in control. Jesus is not out of control. Jesus is not angry, upset. Jesus is with us. He is powerful. He is a God who is in control of time and space, and we can trust in Him at all times. I'm going to pray. Lord, I pray that no matter what circumstance we are in, we know, Jesus, you are firm, secure, safe, um, totally in control, and we can lean on you as a God and a master of our lives we can, we can look to you because you know the time. You know exactly what's going to happen. Lord, we trust in you at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. And my, my journal will be today, I will trust in him no matter what happens. Today, I will trust in him no matter what happens. God bless you.